Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> it's smoky out here. So we are gonna make some roasted charred poblano peppers. Gonna get a good blister going on these guys because we, it's what's cooking, right? Ooh, 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 I don't do this very often outside. Um, we are making a birthday dinner for a very special person and the request was my corn poblano pepper chowder. I don't know where to put this camera. Put it right there. Anyway, so I'm out in the backyard trying not to get smoked out and um, got to get these whipped up. Have a new buyer uh, Zoom at 11 o'clock from a referral from Jackie. So uh, I just want to get this going. So we're going to get a good char on these guys. It's a little chilly out here and um, dreary supposed to start raining and the chicky chews are like what the heck is going on you guys are on henna paws you don't lay eggs anymore for your mama what's the scoop huh I'm looking at them over in their coop okay hopefully um, today is the 21st so it's one of my favorite days of the year because it's the shortest day which means tomorrow the days start to get longer which is so much better I don't need the burners on on all of these. Whew. A little smoky. I think we forgot to clean the grill the last time we used it. That would be a Philip Fredrickson uh, gig, not a Mary Kelly thing, so. I cook, he cleans. That's the, that's the deal. That's what we signed up for. He's out walking Harley and Mackenzie. All right, I think this is gonna take some time. I don't even know what this thing is, but it's a piece of dark charred something. Okay. I'll bring this over so you can see and witness the filthy, filthy, dirty grill. Oh. Rick Hagen, I am also going to be doing a slab of beef ribs so i'm intimidated like there's no tomorrow i'm not doing them today though um nine pounds actually of beef ribs with the bone in so i'm gonna do like a bourbon molasses mustard marinade chef billy weigh in anytime now i need help and i think i'm gonna do them on the trigger but i would love somebody to give me their opinion so Chef Deb at Costera has this amazing corn chowder that my great-great-niece Jaden loves, and my niece, who's three weeks younger than me, she's 39, she loves it too. And so Chef Deb kind of helped me a while back with this um, recipe. So it's all about first getting those poblanos to blister. You know what? I'm going to shut the lid because A, it's smoky for me, and I think they're not getting as blistered as they need to be. So we'll get that going. And uh, let me see, I could give you a tour of the backyard while I'm out here. How about that? Okay. So, oh, the dogs. See, I love like a crazy wild garden. Philip does not as much, but uh, that's sort of how the backyard is evolving. Pomegranate tree way, 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 way in the back. And let's peek under the lid and see what we have going on. Okay, let's check. I'm gonna smell like peppers, that's for sure, and smoke. See, that one's getting a little bit of a blister for me. So then I'm going to take butter and mirepoix, carrot, celery, and onion, saute that with olive oil as well, and then some Trader Joe's frozen garlic, add that to the mix. Then I'm going to put in two bags of frozen corn, I'm not getting fresh sweet corn today. Um, throw that in, put it in the blender, put a little chicken stock or vegetable stock, depending on if you want it to be vegetarian. Um, this crew is not vegetarian, so I'm going to make it full on with the chicken stock. Then I'm going to add heavy cream and cream cheese. Phil Fredrickson, I'm doing a little video. 
trying to get these peppers to blister. Do you want to come over? What? Do you want to come over? Yeah. What's cooking? Huh? What's cooking? Good looking? It's what's cooking. I'm making poblano corn chowder. Oh, I thought you had something uh, on the Traeger the way it was smoking. I know. It's smoking because it never got clean after huh? your party. Uh -oh. Yeah. I kind of threw you under the bus on that. You know, you could, like, I did. there's the brush right there. Oh, I did do Pretty it. Pretty certainly easy to do. I cleaned it, but not to the best of my, you know, ability. Well, what's burning is what you clean, and it drops onto the screen. Anyway, yeah. it does need to be properly cleaned. you want to say hi with your cute little shirt? <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, so that How's shirt, going? I bought Philip for Christmas last year, and yesterday it was in his closet with the price tag still on. I almost re-gifted it to him. Right? Wouldn't have worked. I knew it was there. <laughs> okay. All right, have fun. I thought you were, like, grilling meat. Oh, no, 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 no. Just getting these ready, and then I'm going to saute the miraflaw and go back in the house and finish my uh, uh, video. Barley hurt you out here. So how are the chicky chews? Do they have food and water? Their they water looks water. Like, They're going to need some more of everything later. Their water looks a little low. So they've got enough for now. Those little henna pausers. How dare they stop laying eggs? Ooh, see, that one's looking really, really good. Definitely want to pay attention to these so that they don't burn. But you want to get them nice and soft. Right, Chef Deb, if you're watching, or if you ever if you see this at some point. I'm going to put a jalapeno and cilantro and lime, but I'm not putting the lime in until the moment before we serve it because lime and cream and cream cheese don't really jive when you're cooking. got one that's very stubborn and I hope everybody is going shopping and doing um, small businesses so our friend Sean he has a business that is located at the Carlsbad Mall called Junction 101 it's also out in Alpine and then you got Katie's Farm which is Chef Billy Butter out in Alpine they have a whole bunch of really cool custom crafted holiday gifts jams butter um, really neat things. Then you have our friend Christine who does hot chocolate bombs that are the bomb, huh, no pun intended. You have Chateau Bellage on West Washington, uh, West Lewis and Mission Hills. That one is officially done, so that's going on the rack. Um, so yeah, get out there and support those small businesses, big time. Amazon is not a small business. It's a ginormous business, although it's convenient. If you can get out and about, it would be awesome to help support the smaller ones. Okay. Isn't that funny? One got done and the rest are still. This guy is just not happy. I wonder if I should have brushed it with olive oil. I did not do that. Maybe I should have. And then my friend Gwen, she works at the Landings in Carlsbad, which is right at the airport, at Palomar Airport. So they have live music almost seven days a week. They go a bunch of black shows, hear them? Whoa. I don't know where they're headed, but they're very loud. They're probably waiting for the days to get longer too, just like we are. Okay. Hey, Christy, how are you? I love you and I miss you, and I'm so sorry to hear about our beautiful Vivian. She and her hubby are now up in heaven, I'm sure, having the most romantic and beautiful life, looking down on everyone. What a blessing to have gotten to meet her at the Springs RV Resort in Borrego, one of the best RV parks ever, where I got to meet amazing people in my life. We're doing a poblano corn chowder. 
So we're just getting these poblanos blistered. Then I have to run upstairs and do a Zoom for new home buyers, which I'm super excited for. I have the alarm set. We're working through the holidays, so it doesn't matter to us that it's almost Christmas. We're thrilled and grateful to have the opportunity to guide somebody through the home buying process. Okay, I think that one's officially done. I think this one's officially done. Man, this one is still super stubborn. Anyway, um, I miss you too. I think you're still in Texas, right? Yes, aw. With all those beautiful grandchildren and children. They're very blessed to get to be with you, Christy. Okay, we have only one left, and it's the one that's holding out on me. I'm gonna just shut this a second. My eyes are burning so you can see what they look like. Okay, then they're gonna get diced up, chopped up, and put in with the mirepoix, the butter, the heavy cream, the chicken stock, the corn, and at the end there'll be cilantro added. I always put cream cheese in because cream cheese um, is makes the, the base more keto, and it also gives it a rich, thick um, texture. Ooh. It's popping like popcorn, it's super cool. Huh, that is cool. I don't know if you can hear it, but it truly is popping like popcorn. Huh. I'm forcing it now. My dad said I was like a spring flower, impatient. I am impatient when it comes to stuff like this. Taking too long. I think that, maybe this, Maybe this one needs a couple of extra seconds too. The other ones are super, super wiggly and jiggly, which is what you want. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm putting the whole thing in the blender and pureeing it. I'll leave a little bit of the corn whole so that it has a little nice bite and texture, but other than that. All right. I'm gonna go in and do another live video to continue this little cooking escapade. Escapade? All right, see ya.